Hi everyone, we're going to create a new PowerPoint with our own theme using SlideMaster. It's very easy to do. So let's go ahead, open up PowerPoint. We're going to create a new blank presentation. And here we are. Go ahead and close out this design thing just to minimize distractions. We're going to go to View, SlideMaster. Here you can see that there is a parent. Right, and this is your master slide, and you have these child slides down here. In the slide master ribbon, click on colors, and you can change the office theme. So we're going to have a red theme, and I'll show you how this works. Uh, background styles, you can see I have a couple options here, so I can make it black, and you see I'll automatically turn the text white, and it's kind of a near black. You have a couple variations here. So let's do this. It looks a little bit contemporary. Fonts, you can change the fonts of all slides. See, I have this selected, so it's going to change all fonts at this level. Let's go ahead and change it to uh, Calibri. Now, anything I modify on the master slide is going to cascade down to all these others, even the title slide. So that's something to keep in mind that maybe you want something here and not all the way down there. So let's go ahead and add like a little logo type thing. So let's put Ridgeline Clothing is going to be on the top here and we're not going to have a mess with the title. So we're going to move the master title over there. Now you see it's going to appear on every single slide, right? And you see some of them have moved already. Um, we don't want that. We don't want that because every slide, so if I go home now, oh, sorry, let's close master slide view. And now whenever I create a new slide, it's gonna be there. Even if I create a new, yeah, title slide right here. Uh, you may not want it there. In fact, maybe the title slide, you want it to be unique in some regard. And notice I can't click it. Unless I go to the master slide, I cannot click it. So let's go to view. Slide master again, and we're only we're just going to cut that out. And we're going to paste it only on the slides we really want. So not here, here, not here, here. We want it here, here. Now the thing is, is when you have slides like this, you can always move it around. If that's what your company wants you to do, you can always move it around there for certain slides to make sure that the company logo still appears in case someone's taking pictures with their camera, I'd imagine. Uh, this we don't need. So let's go ahead and uh, delete that right off. And I don't know about this because it's sideways. Who's going to use that really? So let's delete that. In fact, I think on this one, um, we're actually going to put it somewhere like down here and maybe a little bit bigger and maybe reduce the uh, area like that. So when we go into, yes, so you can see the title and we're going to say annual meeting let's do something a little bit more unique. Let's go back to the slide master. We're going to create some uh, chapter slides. What we're going to do is insert a shape and we're going to use one that points to the right. I'm going to say click to edit and I'm going to try and strain it up. You can faintly see that there are lines guiding me and I'm going to make it in the center which you can do in home click this to center and justify it and now we're going to insert some stock image picture from stock images I'm just going to type in business because I just want a business person and we have this person right here looks like she would be a good candidate for what I'm doing we're going to crop out the background and probably crop out part of her waist and just kind of bring her up like that. Okay, easy peasy. 
And then we're going to put her up here. Something to that effect. And in fact, maybe we want to crop again and kind of bring it out a little more. She's so happy to work for our company. And you see it overlays it, right? That's not the way you want to go, is it? Well, you can. So what we can do is we're going to put her to the back. And we're going to do a little bit of transparency here. And with this, we're going to bring it to the front. And just because I think this would bother some people, we can go ahead and move that a little bit like that and try and match these up. So maybe we put Ridgeline clothing here and we bring this in just in case our slide gets cut off a little bit for some reason. And that's a, that's a chapter slide. And so what you can do with this is you can duplicate it and we can put a different stock image. So right click it, change picture, change picture from stock images. We can, I mean, sir, why not? We'll put her in. And sometimes it does remove the transparency. So we're going to go ahead and do that again. There we go. That way it kind of matches the theme of that color there. Now the whole point why I even am worried about this is when you choose a different theme, it's going to change the tint. So you see I changed it to violet too, and it kind of does a purple hue for our transparency on our uh, business woman here. We're gonna change that back, <laughs> undo that. <laughs> so we still have our Ridgeline clothing. Okay, great. So let's go back and close out a slide master. And whenever we create a new chapter slide, We're going to have um, executive summary. We're going to have this on top. This is the annual meeting. Here's our executive summary slide. We're going to do a new chapter slide uh, because we're only going to talk about that for so long. We're going to say the future. The future. That sounds very important indeed. Uh, here we go. So that's a title slide. We can use title slides if we want, or we can use chapter slides. When I come down here, I'm gonna make a new slide and we can make a title with content. And I can say, uh, this is gonna be performance. And then you can type in Lauren Ipsum or whatever you wanna type in here. And maybe we have a slide with some actual, uh, this isn't gonna be text, it's gonna be a chart. That looks great. Put it in there. Here's our performance. It has a little Excel window that you can modify. Just like that. But you can see that now that I created a master slide, uh, if someone says, hey, you know what? I hate Calibri. All right, you know, we can change that. Go to Slide Master, come here, change the font to Arial. Close it out. Guess what? All the fonts are changed. I didn't have to go to every single slide and change them. It's really cool. Go to View, go to Slide Master. Uh, we can change the colorations in case we want to make a variant of this template for any reason at all. You can come down here and you see that it is indeed changed. Uh, maybe not for the best, but it is changed. So that's how you create a new template with a slide master and allows you to administratively make changes to your slides. Here you go. All right. Well, thank you so much. I hope that helps you. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any other questions or you want to see something uh, done. Maybe I didn't describe something well enough and that will be it. Thank you so much.